Talked about Marco, who's been on a really nice run as of late. They really need him today. 18 starts on the year, 5-5 five five record, a 4-1-3 ERA, and 130, has 79 strikeouts over 30 walks. Mariners first pitch of the ball game, swung on and sent to left center field. Drifting over is Jake Bowers, one down. There's a line drive base hit into left field on a 1-2 pitch. All day long. Beautiful swing. We started him with the fastball, which he took. Then it was a cutter at 86 miles an hour, and then another heater. Kind of pushing him off the plate a little bit. Probably a good idea. Sam Dem Kelnick will take care of this. Mariners need a stopping performance by Marco Gonzalez. Really wow. close. JP thought he had him. That was perfectly timed. Scott Service might want to take a look at it. He looks like he's out to me. Yep. So one six on the pick up, and that'll do it for the Royals in the first. JP will lead off when we get back. So the Royals pitching staff has kept the Mariners in the ballpark. And now Brady Singer will make his 23rd start. Dozier recovers and Singer is there at the bag. That pitch is drilled to center field, but Taylor got a good angle. And he made that play look routine. Two down. They have been, I think, no worse than seventh runners in scoring position batting average in the major leagues. They start today. Fifth, and Seeger hits one right at the row, oh, and he boots it big time. Oliveris and Seeger will end up at second. Looks like he had that one totally corralled, and it got away, and he got Seeger in scoring position with two outs here in the first inning. Cy France, a couple of hits yesterday, two for five. Tenth in the American League in hitting. Ground ball right under Seeger's legs. Manny giving a wave on. Booted out there by Taylor. Seeger scores nice and easy, and the Mariners have a one nothing lead here in the first. RBI for Todd France, his 60th of the season. Kelnick got a good jump, but slicing it. He's there great to play. make the play. Well done. Jared Kelnick, great break, hangs in, stays after it, and it's still one nothing Mariners. That's a slider. Olivares will make the play two down. 325, six doubles, four homers, nine multi hit games, 409 on base percentage, switch hitter, plays good defense at second. Today, 0 for 1, he grounded out to end the first inning. First and second, two down. And batting left handed, he'll swing at the first one, hit it in the air to center. Easy play for Michael A. Taylor. He'll make the catch, end the inning. And Brady able to work around hitting a batter and walking a batter. And so he strands two. Two outs and a one two pitch. Struck him out. One, two, three in the fourth. Good time for that first strikeout. Swing and a miss. He gets Taylor on three pitches. Back to back strikeouts. End of the fourth with a strikeout. Excellent location towards the top of the zone. Borderline on the inside corner and gets him to chase it. Probably just off the plate. And Brady has struck out his third, and he struck out three of the last four. Blue KC pitch tracks to show you this slider. It was nice. The last three pitches were all in there. He was fouling them off. And typically, pitchers just keep burying it in there. Salvi, he knows the weaknesses, expose it there. 25 year old Brady Singer, 3 2 pitch. Down ball, Lopez can't get it. Base hit. Just a man, second hit. Comes with two outs. And he gets a ground ball to short. So Singer got one down and out of the strike zone and he got Ty France to chase it and Brady Singer has given up one unearned run in five innings. Here's Salvi in the 53 year history of the Royals seven or more home runs 14 or more RBIs on a single road trip Salvi is one of three and right on cue Salvador Perez hits it off the facing of the upper deck. So make it eight home runs and 15 RBIs on this trip. Salvador Perez has now tied 
a Royals record. He has homered in five straight games. And no catcher in American League history has ever homered more in a single season than Salvador Perez, his 38th of the year. Kellick, a strikeout and a walk today. 1-2 pitch. High fly ball, deep right field. That's got a chance. Giddy up. Gone. Man is leading two to one on the home run by Jared Kellick, his seventh of the season. Boy, did they need that. Here is Michael A. Taylor. Taylor gets one out over the plate, and that's deep into left field. And the Royals answer, and Taylor puts it into the second deck. A long home run. Michael A. Taylor ties this game 2-2. His 11th home run on the year. Boy, Michael A. got all of that one. So Kyle Seeger can do with two outs. Here we go, 1-1 one, one to Kyle. Did he get enough? Let it ride. Let it ride. Bye-bye. Kyle Seeger. Home run number 31, a career best in the Mariners. Have the lead back. Now he flied to center when he faced Sewell on Friday night. And he goes the other way. That ball carries. It is oh. off the wall. Around third comes Lopez. The throw to the plate is not in time, and the Royals have cut it to one. What more can Perez do? He missed a home run only by a couple of feet. But for now, it's 4-3 in the eighth inning. 1-0 pitch. That's it, hard. Left field. Bowers, what a catch! What a great play. Jake Bowers, great start. Terrific finish, great grab. Wow. Bowers coming in, makes wow. the grab again. <laughs> Jake Bowers having a day in left field. Two outs and one run. Mariner lead in the ninth. This will be the 10th pitch in this at bat. Here we go, three and two. Took something off, ground ball. Toro. Your ball game. Marin has won it by the count of four to three to salvage a game in this series against the Kansas City Royals.